Hello and welcome back to Vintage Treasures and today I'm doing a Masters of the Universe haul video. Now you've likely seen that I did uh, in the past I've done a massive Ninja Turtle haul, I've done a massive uh, Ghostbusters haul and now I'm doing a massive Masters of the Universe haul. Uh, to be fair these are from several different sources. Uh, I think two, no three. I'll mention all of them, uh, but this from several sources, uh, and I'll explain what's from what, and also do it in order of what day it happened, um, but there's a lot of stuff to go through, and uh, I guess we should start at the start, uh, about, oh, I don't know, three weeks ago or so. I was at a yard sale and I wasn't finding much. Uh, I saw a bin with some old car manuals, did some digging. I saw red plastic and I was like, no freaking way. And this thing's already collected a bit of dust. Uh, but you can see here, I got my hands on an attack track. Arguably the best vehicle in the Masters of the Universe line. And to put the icing on the cake, it comes with the freaking belt, and it's not ripped. I paid two dollars for this, and I got a, uh, uh, I got a, a couple of trinkets with it, two ET cards, nothing too large to mention. Uh, but I did get an attack track. I didn't have any Masters vehicles, and this was my first one. Uh, so let's see this thing in action. Unfortunately, no battery cover. Uh, and one of the things was so corroded, it just snapped off when I tried to clean it. Uh, so I'm using tin foil to uh, complete the circuit. Uh, let's get some batteries in this. So the thing is, uh, if you're using low voltage, like, uh, oh, I don't know, two uh, C batteries, you don't really have to worry about, like, uh, dangerous things, but don't do this with anything besides low voltage toys because you could seriously hurt yourself, fry an outlet, or uh, or worse. So uh, don't do this. Uh, maybe maybe don't even try. Don't even try this. Okay, just pretend I'm not doing it. So here we have the bottom of the attack track, and I have a bit of tin foil uh, that's uh, pretty tight. Uh, we'll get this battery in first since it doesn't need any fancy stuff. Let me make that switch is off. And actually it doesn't specify if the switch is off. Uh, we can put this tin foil here. You can get this battery in by pushing the butt in first. And that should be tight. I don't know if that's gonna work. But let's see how this thing rolls. It needs a little help, it's on. It's not supposed to be on fabric. Uh, but you get a general idea. Pretty loud toy. Uh, pretty dead batteries. <laughs> but uh, no, nowhere, uh, nowhere as loud as the Dragon Walker, uh, which is something I'm looking for, but haven't came across. The vehicles are pretty expensive for Masters. Uh, the whole line kind of is, but especially the vehicles. So that was all I got that weekend. I got that at a yard sale, so that was amazing. You don't find Master stuff at yard sales much anymore. Uh, but after that, actually the day after that, I went to a toy show. And I didn't record because it's a little event and uh, I'd hate to be uh, with a camera and people would be like, stop filming me. I don't know, I just don't like doing that stuff. I may in the future, maybe at like a bigger event, something uh, more excited about, but this is a local thing. I picked up a couple of figures um, that I wanted. So, starting we have this Prince Adam. Um, for those unfamiliar, this is a He-Man body with different paint. Uh, this is him before he transforms. He's super buff for Prince Adam's. 
Uh, and this actually was pretty nice. I did replace the leg thing because they go after a while, as you know, the he-bands go and you have to replace them. Uh, then uh, I paid 10 for this, which I still think is a good deal. Saved about 12 bucks. Uh, we have Rattler, and he rattles. Let me put it in the mic. Uh, he has the rubbery tail. And there's a button there, if you notice. There's a button there. And when you press that button, he comes to attack you. You just click that back into place, and yeah, it's pretty fast. Uh, pretty cool for 10. Pretty cool toy. Uh, and I, yeah, I got um, a leech for myself as well. Uh, not a leech. A Cobra Khan. Oh my, well they're very similar. Uh, this isn't even the first time I've got them confused. If you watch my leech video, I'm so sorry I said about 20 times that you could put water inside of him. Please don't. Uh, I get them confused. They're very similar. They have the same like mouth thing. Uh, and They're pretty big. Uh, but don't put water in your leech. You can't put uh, water in your Cobra Khan. But it might grow mold. So that's your choice. Uh, but I got a Cobra Khan. Pretty good legs on this guy, so I didn't have to uh, give it a He-Band. Or on uh, on Rattler. So right there, I already started my Snake Man collection, which I am still working on. And uh, one more thing that I picked up uh, was at the same booth I got Rattler at for five bucks. Just five bucks. I got uh, is this Stone Dar? I think this is Stone Dar. Stone Stone Dar? Stone Dar? I think it's Stone Dar. And the gimmick of this dude is uh, fold his limbs up. I don't want to do this too much. Uh, I've been having way too much fun with this toy. Uh, turns into a rock. Pretty cool. I guess he can hide in plain sight. And if anyone evil walks by, they won't notice a thing. That Skeletor I did not get recently. I've had that for a bit. Um, but the figure's missing his gun. Uh, still worth the five bucks. And uh, his hips, he doesn't have a he-band. He's a piece of plastic holding his legs in. Uh, they break a lot, so I'm happy to have him. Now I need Rockon. Rockon, I think his name is. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. I think that's all I got as far as figures go. Um, but I did get two more things at the toy show, uh, two horde things. So I got the mini comic for my, uh, leech. So he's complete, uh, minus the card, but he has his bow and he's obviously there. But you can see we have English text, um, which is pretty cool. I mean... I'd love to collect the variants, the different, um, look at that shot, with the different um, languages. Um, but the only problem with this one is it has a rip in the corner, but you can see uh, the original set of Horde and the Fright Zone with the puppet, which I probably never have that puppet, because it's pretty darn expensive. And I got this, which I thought it was a repro because it's that mint, like it's crazy. I got this, uh, Mantena, I don't even really want to take it out of the plastic, because I got it in the plastic, but the corners on this thing are so nice, you wouldn't think a kid even touched it. It's really good, and then we get a good shot of, uh, the hoard again. Looks like there used to be a price, uh, price, uh, tag on Grizzlore. Not sure if that was in the toy market or if it was in retail. Probably not retail because that would mean it's uncarded. Um, and then, speaking of the hoard, after I left the toy show, uh, I got something in the mail. And it's something I've been anticipating on getting for a long time. As you can see, I have most of the hoard here, uh, as far as the original set goes. But I was missing the main man, the uh, antagonist of She-Ra, and one of the many antagonists of He-Man, and that was Hordak. Uh, now, I did do a couple repairs on this guy. 
I did the face paint. Uh, watch the toy ploy video on that. I kept a little bit of wear on his vest because I liked it. I used my fabric cape that I made a while ago, which was nice to finally use that. And I redid his legs, although I do think this rubber band is not the right fit, so I'll replace that eventually. And he came with his bow, which is pretty nice. Meaning, uh, minus accessories, I'm done with the original set of the horde. Now there's a couple things I want. Of course, the Fright Zone. Um, Rhodes uh, Dragster. Uh, and there's a couple figures, even the newer release. What was that one? Uh... One of the figures that they didn't release in the original line, but it's meant to look like it's from the original line. Uh, she's a member of the Horde as well. Uh, so, this adventure is not over, but this chapter is done for now. So, at this point in time, I had my He-Man fix. Um, I had a vehicle, I had mini-comics, I had several figures, I spent a lot of money, um, but... I checked eBay anyway, uh, foolishly, because every time I go on eBay, I end up buying something, so I don't know why I do it, um, but I ended up going on eBay, and, um, oh, actually, I almost forgot, I had him to the side, so I almost forgot, but, um, I have a battle damage He-Man. I can't believe I forgot about this. This is my first He-Man uh, I have ever, ever had. I don't have an original because they're pretty pricey. Um, I had to fix the spring inside of him, so he works now. So that's pretty nice. I did forget to mention that. Um, but all that aside, I had my fix. Went on eBay. Found a lot. This costed me $26, which I can't believe. I uh, got one this uh, lot on an auction. Uh, and they are pretty beat up, to be fair. But definitely, definitely worth it. And I'm glad I snagged it when I did. So, in this lot, I got, um, uh, I got nine figures. Nine figures in this lot. Masters of the Universe Vintage uh, lot for $26, which is really, really really good. I say anything uh, $5 or below is absolutely just buy it. Don't even think about it. Even if you have the figure, you can trade, you can profit, whatever. You can army build. I mean, realistically, they are all species, except for He-Man. He's a human. I guess that's still a species, but uh, you get my point. You can hoard leeches, uh, hoard any member of the horde, really, except for Hordak, because he has his uniform. Uh, and make an army. Now, but that's besides the point. Let's go through this lot. $26 Masters of the Universe lot. And you can see here, I have Whiplash. Uh, and uh, he has his legs are pretty loose. Ran out of bands. Uh, and his swivel works. But he doesn't have his tail. Uh, I didn't realize that until I got it in the mail. I really should look closer because that's not even the first time I've done something like that. Um, but I got Whiplash, I got myself not one, but two Orcos with no pull string or magic trick, um, but for $26, what do you expect? I plan on selling one of these to recuperate some of the money so I can buy more toys, um, but got myself two Orcos for now. Someone will have themselves an Orco later. Uh, Probably the thing I was most excited about is the Stinkor. I'm going to buy his vest and maybe his gun. His legs are tight. He still smells. I don't know how I would show you that. Um, he's a little bit of wear on his thumbs. I repainted the white so he looks um, newer. Uh, and uh, Yeah, look at that face sculpt. It's absolutely lovely. So great they used it twice. Uh, if you don't know what I'm referring to, uh, look at him. Next to Mur Dude, And that actually took me a while to realize. Uh, coming back to Orko, we had two of those. So why not have three Prince Adams, including the other one I got? Uh, so let's just pile up these Prince Adams over here. Um, I did touch up the paint on their hair. Oh, something stuck on there. Uh, did uh, touch up their hair because it was pretty worn. It's 
stuff on there. Um, but other than that, uh, these are about the same. I didn't replace any of the bands or any of that. Uh, then I have a Roboto with pretty jiggly legs. Mech still works, and he's missing his arm, uh, which is detachable. So I plan on getting rid of this one as well, selling it because I already have one anyway. Uh, and the other two He-Men as well. So we have that. Uh, Attila, who I already have, uh, with no armor, jiggly legs. I'll sell her. I'll probably put uh, some of these in a lot, uh, in a lot <clears throat> to make it worthwhile. And this figure actually replaced one of my beaters. This is Trapjaw. And still no hand accessories, but I got his arm brace, which I didn't have. Looks pretty goofy without it. His spring is still working in his jaw, which the other one it wasn't. Uh, but I did have the string hole on both of them. Um, he's hard to stand. Tell me if it's just me, but he does not want to stand for anything. I mean, I'm not going to do it here. That's not a good example. Um, but uh, a certain amount of money I won't disclose uh, later. We have this lovely lot of Masters of the Universe figures to really bulk into my collection and my wallet a bit, but not really because I still have to account for the point that I spent money. Um, but still, nonetheless, a good lot. And is the third line I've gotten a good lot in in just this year. So uh, it'd be great to keep that trend going. Uh, but uh, if you enjoyed today's video, then uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Every Wednesday I upload a video about vintage toys, uh, Masters of the Universe, or Turtles, or um, Ghostbusters. Really, if it's vintage and it's toy related, then I'll probably take a look at it. Uh, I do haul videos, I do figure reviews, and uh, well, if any of that interests you, subscribe to the channel. You can unsubscribe later if you don't like my content later on down the line. Uh, 50 subscribers special. Uh, 50 subscribers special. I plan on doing a room tour, so uh, look for that if you're interested. And have a great rest of your day or night, and goodbye.